Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, few viewers asked me about doing a video about Argo CD. I believe many of you might be using Argo CD in your Kubernetes cluster. Argo CD is a declarative continuous deployment tool that you can use to deploy your apps to your Kubernetes cluster. I thought of doing a single video about Argo CD, but I just wanted to split it out into a few videos. So in this video, it's going to be a very quick video. I'm just going to go through the overview, what we will be covering in the coming videos. And we will go hands on. Uh, I'll show you a quick demo in the next video. So stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And definitely in my next video, we will cover the Argo CD deployment, the continuous deployment demo. And maybe I will do one more video about how to use Argo CD CLI. So Argo CD is a declarative continuous deployment tool. The way it actually works is you define all your applications, manifests, all your resources that you want to deploy in your Kubernetes cluster. You define all of them in a GitHub repository and then um, Argo CD will pull the changes or will pull the resource definition from GitHub repository and it deploys the resources for you in your Kubernetes cluster. So uh, the components that we've got in Argo CD are these five components. So things might change in the future, but as of recording this video, I've tested this deployment uh, just before recording this video. So what you what you actually get is these components, Argo CD components. So one, the important one is the Argo CD server, which is the API server. All the interactions that you do with Argo CD uh, has to go through through this API server. It's like the, the QB API server for Kubernetes. And then we have the, uh, the repo server, the repository server. So that's the one that communicates with your external GitHub repository and then it maintains a cache of your GitHub repository. So whenever you do a change in your GitHub repository, it pulls every now and then and then find what has actually changed and what's the current state of the deployment and so on. We have app controllers app controller component which is responsible for maintaining the state of the deployed resource in your kubernetes cluster and we've got redis for caching and then we've also got dex server so what is it you want to deploy take for example you're deploying a web application so probably you might uh, create a deployment the deployment will create a replica set and then the replica set manages the pods and then you want to expose your web application as a service probably you need to set up ingress and so on so all these resources are related and Orgo CD manages them as one single app. In the Orgo CD, the way to interact with Orgo CD is once you deploy Orgo CD in a Kubernetes cluster, you will be able to use either its web UI or the Orgo CD command line interface. In the next video, I will show you how we can interact with the web UI to create app, how to manage app, how to sync your resources and so on. And probably in the video after that, we will look at how to use the Argo CD command line interface. So what's the starting point? So you first need to define your app manifest, for example, a manifest, a YAML file for your deployment, for your service, and whatever resource you want to deploy in your Kubernetes cluster in a GitHub repository. And then once Argo CD is deployed in your Kubernetes cluster, you need to create a repository. You need to create a repository in the Argo CD. So in Argo CD, we've got projects, we've got repositories, we've got Kubernetes clusters. So once you deploy the Argo CD in your Kubernetes cluster, either using web UI or CLI, you define Kubernetes clusters. By default, the Kubernetes cluster where Argo CD is deployed is already added. So you would be able to deploy the other applications in the same Kubernetes cluster as Argo CD is deployed. But it's not limited just to the cluster where Argo CD is deployed. You can also deploy resources to other clusters. So you need to add additional cluster. So one thing to note in mind is using web UI, you won't be able to add additional Kubernetes clusters. So you have to use the Argo CD CLI to add additional clusters. So once you add the clusters and the GitHub repositories, you'll be able to create new apps. So the new app screen, uh, which I'll be showing in the next video, will ask you for various details like where's the GitHub repository that holds the, the manifest for your application and which Kubernetes cluster you want to deploy your application to and which namespace you want to deploy it to and so on. So when you're creating a new application, you have to fill in all those details like GitHub repository, Kubernetes cluster, and so on. 
and the way it deploys the resources to cluster is there are two ways it either does a manual sync so we have to do a manual sync or there's an automated sync the difference is so once you create a new app and while you're creating a new app if you've set the sync policy to be manual it checks out the github repository and maintains a local cache in the repo server and then it doesn't actually deploy the resources it waits for you to push a, a button uh, there will be a synchronized a sync button that you need to press and then Argo CD will deploy the resources. But if you set the sync policy to automatic, once you create the app, the app will be immediately deployed to your Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so once the app is deployed, it constantly checks the state of the uh, app. So you define the apps in your GitHub repository and Argo CD takes care of deploying it in your Kubernetes cluster. And it also makes sure that the resources deployed in your Kubernetes cluster matches the definition that you've saved in your GitHub repository. For example, if there is any change or if the deployed resources deviates from the state that we have defined in the GitHub repository, Algo CD will complain that it's the app is out of sync. If auto sync is enabled, then even if you make any changes manually, once once it's deployed by Algo CD, if you try to make any changes, uh, because autosync is enabled, it will automatically update the resources to match the, the definition that we have got in our GitHub repository. And if you want to update your application, you just need to make changes to your GitHub repo, update your manifest, uh, commit it to your GitHub repository, and then the, the repo server, which constantly pulls the GitHub repo, will find that, that something has changed. If you have enabled autosync, it will automatically deploy the updates to your Kubernetes cluster. If it's manual, then it will show the application state as out of sync and you will have to manually sync it. Uh, whenever you deploy an app, which is managed by Orgo CD, and you manually do some changes to the app, it will go out of sync. So you just need to make sure that if it's managed by Orgo CD, let Orgo CD manage it completely. You don't want to mess around with the app with the resources deployed by Orgo CD. Even if you make any changes, Orgo CD will come in uh, and then it will change the state to, uh, to match that of what we've defined in the GitHub repository. So that's kind of the overview. I've got a separate GitHub repository for this demo, which I will show you in the next video. So go through this and wait for my next video and I will show you how we can use all these concepts. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.